Cody and the OG3 know what role they play for the show these days. Cody told us last season he may as well be the devil we all think he is. And based off of the season 19 trailer, it looks like he's really embracing that villain role. Janelle and Christine are in their Thelma and Louise era, proving that they're always going to be sister wives even if they're no longer married to the same man. And even Mary is delivering content by trying to spiritually divorce Cody's ass. I mean, Mary is giving us on-screen confrontation with Cody, so thank you for your service, Mary. But Robin, Cody's last wife standing, is giving us absolutely nothing going into season 19. She is quite literally, as she stated, the idiot who got left behind. She's just sitting on her picnic bench wondering where it all went wrong. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at a high level overview that we've been teased as to what Robin is going to bring to the table in season 19. This is less than 20 seconds of a compilation out of a two and a half minute trailer. This was not the way it was supposed to go. I feel like the idiot that got left behind. I'm having a hard time feeling like losing respect for you. Robin, I can't even get it straight with you right now. The way I see it, Robin is really at a crossroads. After years of camping chair conversations, the OG3 actually have stuff going on in their lives that viewers want to see. I am very interested in Mary's quest for a release from Cody. But what does Robin have going on? Literally nothing. We aren't even granted access to their home. And the filming we got last year with the McMansion kids seemed so fake. That ear piercing scene with Aurora and then the literal body doubles riding the e-bikes on Coyote Pass. Robin is quite literally the idiot who got left behind if she's still going to try to sell us this tale that she just wants to be one big happy family. I would much rather Robin embrace the devil she is as well just like Cody because then at least I would believe there was a hint of authenticity here. This struggle that she is having with Cody that gets alluded to in the trailer. I just don't believe that there's anything real to that whatsoever. If anything, I think we got a closer look at to what a true conversation is like between these two back during those clapback specials last season. She'd rather have a Christmas with Christine. And so she's making this excuse about the boys. Is that what she said? That's my interpretation. As I have sat here and watched our episodes is that Janelle is punching a button specifically to make me look bad with the family. You sort don't of, want to do, you don't want to do Christmas separate. No, I never wanted to do Christmas separate. Why does she keep saying that? Because that's what she's telling the boys to get them on her side. She's specifically trying to destroy my character with my family. The total misrepresentation of the facts and self-victimization is much more believable to me as to what a conversation about Cody's other family members look like between these two. Remember that conversation that Cody and Robin had after Christine moved his stuff out? Cody went to Robin, the great relationship whisperer, for advice on how to navigate this tough spot that he had found himself in. Because she has a nature of understanding relationships and how to make them work. You're, you're going where? I gotta go to Christine's house. I gotta have okay. a conversation with her. Okay. Everything okay? No. Um, I, I didn't know what that meant. I was kind of dumbfounded. I was almost slack-jawed. I'm s just shocked. Like, I was just shocked. You can just stay, like, on the couch for a while. Maybe this is just a, like, I'm Cody. Why would I sleep on the couch? Maybe she just needs a break. And then, but he doesn't, need to not be there. I mean, in fact, it should be the other way around. He should be there present. I fear Robin is going to have barely any screen time this season, except for the weird forced romantic horse ride or totally bullshit snow fight. And not like a snowball fight, but like a fake fight outside in the snow. Because for some reason, we are to believe that these two are just always working outdoors. Yeah, right. Cody and the OG3 have decided to get real about the status of all of their relationships. And Cody is even going so far as to attempt to rewrite history. 
But Robin, my girl, you can't try to sell us this same sob story that you just wanted one big happy family when we know this to be a lie. We are supposed to believe that you pushed Cody to attempt to make things work with Christine after she moves his stuff out when it's clearly too little too late and your suggestion is for him to literally stalk her when Christine has been telling us for literal years exactly what she needed from Cody in order to make their marriage work she needed equal time you guys all used to live tweet this show we know that you saw the same clips we did and it doesn't look like Robin made any meaningful push to have Cody spend time with his other households. On the contrary, Robin was perfectly happy sucking more out of the family than she was putting in for as long as she has called herself a brown. I really just don't understand this. I'm so dumb. I never saw the signs that this family was falling apart act that Robin is trying to sell us. As we've seen, polygamy by its very nature seems to be a family destroyer. At the end of season 18, Robin wails that all she ever wanted was to sit on a porch with her sister wives. But it's like, bro, you could have been doing that this whole time. Nobody was preventing you from spending time with, bonding with, and solidifying relationships with Cody's kids or other wives. You've been a part of this family for over a decade. You just never made the effort. We see the tight bonds this family has with each other aside from Cody and Robin. Mary, who isn't close with Janelle or Christine, has been invited to Gwen and Logan's weddings. She's been photographed with Logan and Hunter on Instagram. It's completely possible for Robin to have had a relationship with these people had she tried. She just never did. Now going into season 19, Janelle, Christine, and Mary are no longer living under any illusion or delusion that they are still one big happy family. Love should be multiplied, blah, blah, blah. Janelle is talking about lawyering up. Christine is getting all up on David Woolley and Mary is going to stick it to Cody in the afterlife. And honestly, I love that for her. But Robin appears to still be sitting on her picnic bench, wondering where it all went wrong. And it's like, girl, I hope you haven't been sitting there since season 18. Were you expecting for Cody to circle back for you on his ATV and he just never did? So you just stayed there all alone in your principles? In all seriousness, Robin saying she feels like the idiot that got left behind. Well, yeah, Robin, you are the idiot that got left behind. If you're still trying to sell us 2010 Brown family polygamy, we have all evolved from that era. And if you don't get with the program and get yourself a storyline, well, there really isn't going to be a need for you on the show. Cody can participate in dysfunction with his other family members just fine without Robin. Robin doesn't have a relationship with literally anybody else and nobody is trying to have a relationship with her anymore. Robin has done such a good job isolating herself. She really could be demoted to friend of at this point. She's just really not giving main character energy from what we saw in that season 19 trailer. And from what she is delivering, everything just feels so fake. I mean, I believe Cody's quest to win Janelle back more than I believe Robin is struggling with Cody. Yes, I do believe that Robin is miserable, but I don't think that she's struggling to be that way. Anyways, you guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and X at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.